YouTube, Budzilla here. Um, I was looking online and I saw a bunch of people were having some issues here. Um, and I actually solved this problem a long time ago. Um, and I never posted a video on it, so I'm going to do that uh, now. Uh, for those of you that have a uh, um, the Parrot AR drone, um, you may have experienced the red flashing light on your charger, and then your unit won't charge. And basically what's happening, because this is a lithium-ion battery, um, once it gets below a certain charge, the smart charger basically thinks that the battery has failed and it won't charge it. So I'm going to show you a way to uh, a workaround for that. Um, and it really, really works. It works quite well. Uh, so first of all, let me get a measurement here with my meter. of our voltage. Okay, about 1.52 volts um, I have right now. So, all I'm going to do um, is take one of these. This is a trickle charger. Okay, just plug that into the wall, and I have my battery set up here, if you can see I have two little alligator clips going in there, separated by a, uh, a piece of paper with tape on it, just as an insulator so it doesn't short out. Now, a word of caution, lithium ion batteries aren't like lead acid batteries where you can leave them on a charge forever, I mean they will fail, especially since this charger is not made for a lithium ion battery. Um, they'll they'll catch on fire so you this only takes a minute and all we're doing is trying to fool your uh... charger into um, thinking the battery's you know normal and it's going to start charging it so let me uh... connect this guy here where's the other part of it so you'll see as soon as i connect the uh... as soon as i connect it up you're going to see that green that green light come on saying that it's charging so here we got it, and there comes the green light. And now I'm just going to leave this on for a couple seconds. I'm going to actually, uh, I'll have the meter right here. And this is my third battery that I bought on eBay. I actually got this one for like two bucks uh, because a lot of people are having this issue and they think that the battery is bad. But if you uh, if you let your this battery sit for a year, you're screwed. It's toast. Um, but with this fit workaround, it actually this will fix it, and it, it's worked a hundred percent of the time of all the batteries I've gone through. Uh, if I left them sit too long and I did this, this brings them right out. I've heard online people say it's polarity, like the, you have to have the you have to have the charger plugged in uh, a certain way, which just isn't true. First of all, AC uh, voltage is constantly changing polarity, so. It's doing it 60 times a second, so that would be that would be really, really rare uh, if that were the case. Uh, so it's not a polarity issue. You can plug it in however you want. Okay, so let's take a look. So uh, I actually don't remember what that what that voltage was. I think it was 1.52. Um, and now we're going to disconnect the this 12 volt charger. Now we're going to take a reading on it. Put this in here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And I'm just going to touch the other side. And there there you go. That quick. So now it will discharge really quickly. That was just like a, a quick boost. So now you want to get it, uh, put it in your charger. I'll do that right now so I can show you. I don't have a tripod yet. I'm working on it, though, so just bear with me. This is just trying to be helpful here. Okay. Okay, so now I got it plugged in here, and I'm going to plug it into the wall. And you'll see that the red flash is no longer. There you go.
And now you can just use this charger. You, you don't want to leave it on that other charger. Like I said, if you forget, you'll burn your house down. So that's it. That's the workaround for the Parrot Drone uh, ba battery charger failure. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. Have a great day. See ya.